Now the one important thing about this is I am not going to try to duplicate what I just did. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm trying to forget about this completely. In fact, I might even make him a little smaller so that it doesn't turn out. Because <coughs> a big problem with this right next to this is the idea to think about what is going on here and maybe copy from here instead of copying mm -hmm. Al up there. But I want to stay with Al. So I'm doing the same thing. I'm taking raw umber. I'm making a drawing mixture just so I can get marks on the canvas. <coughs> I'm doing the same thing now. I'm seeing Alice here. I see the shape of his face. And I know from last time now that I need to add, he has this very long shape. And I need to add a little more here. And I'm going to leave this blank because the beard is coming down here. So I want to be up here. Let me see this here. I've, since I put his ear in, I can see his ear is now giving me his, his eyes. So I can see that, see that. Nose is about here. And I already learned my lesson from this one here that the mustache comes to about here, so his mouth is going to be here with that bottom lip here. So now I know his beard is going to come down here. And it didn't come out as far. that mark of his head turning in this direction. There's that shadow. All this is shadow. Comes up here. Comes out here. Could even go up a little higher, I think. Get this to come in here. There's his beard. There's shadows here. Comes down here. This comes across here. He's got, right now he's got what looks like a little V here. So I can also see too now that this is going to come out even a little bit farther. That's going to come in. It's going to come in there. And that's going to go off this way. up. This is all going to go into shadow. All into shadow. And I learned a lesson from before that that sticks out. This is down. That's going that way. Beard roughly there. Go this way. And mouth is here. Bottom lip here. This is here. And I see his nose is there. Under his eye. Alright, so I've got my initial drawing in here. So I'm going to pick up a little bit darker paint. Close to here now. this and say that that's it. That's about right. Head is turning. Okay, so this is my drawing stage. Take as much time as I need. The shadow.
Okay. <clears throat> so what I want to do now is I want to take, so now I have a full complement of color here. So I'm going to make a flesh color. I'm going to use alizarin crimson, yellow ochre, a little bit of blue, and just a touch of white. And I'm going to come over here to this side and say this is what I want in here. It's a nice cool color, a little bluer. And again, also too, if this is wrong, so what? I can fix it later. Yes. This, 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 this mixture. Touch of ochre. And I'm going to work my way into the light. Again, big shapes. The interesting thing also too is don't be afraid to add color immediately because if you don't sometimes you're afraid to add it later. I can always change this. What I'm really trying to do right now is get as close as possible to the value. Doesn't have to be exact, just close. I'm using the one brush again, I can't believe this. Okay, I want to get his nose. I'm going to use a different red this time. Even more of a ruddy complexion. to this area, smaller increments if I'm going to get to this, you notice I'm not trying to paint those things, I'm just trying to get this filled in and the values right. This is now green. I see this beautiful green. So instead of using the raw umber, I'm actually going to mix a green. And put it there. And this is a little bit of green also. Okay, and now I actually do see blue, so I'm going to make it blue, but with a touch of red because he's still his complexion is still red. some sort of a background in so I can judge this side. So now we have green. It's an ochre and green background there. So now I can to this, come out to this side. To you know I can see where my paint is, and now I can see that this, and take a bigger brush, this here is deeper, so it is blue, but a little grayish blue, <coughs> we can fix these things. Bit of a glow in here today. Tonight. 
here. So I still have this to do in the beard. Can't finish anything. Get the beard in, finish the second stage before I can move to the finish. Okay, so I'm at that stage again where I don't have this here. So I'm going to take a lot of paint. Okay, so my canvas is covered. I'm looking at it saying, okay, are my values right? Yeah, I've got, I'm working on this. I see this, the hair get a little bit more hair kind of color in here. Just separate that so I'm sure I'm filling in the space correctly. And I'm allowing for all these spaces. So I want to refine some of these. This is finished now. So I'm going to come over here. I'm still working dark to light. And I'm refining as I go. Yeah, now, now I'm in third phase. I'm in my finish. So now everything I put down now is really important. Let me establish this. This is that cool. Now I see in there. And I keep saying, don't paint the thing. Paint the idea. You know, what is the idea of the thing? It's much more fun than trying to replicate exactly what I'm looking at. This is a painting after all, you know, so I can take some license here. I can try things. I can put my stamp on it. Oh. 